Good morning, fourth grade online learners. Hopefully you can see this video at home. Um, there, people have been experiencing some problems viewing the video, and I'm not sure why. It's made for children, it's made public on YouTube, and then it goes to Google Classroom. So I'm not sure why people are having trouble. Uh, just try, keep trying each day if you're having trouble with a specific video. We have a quiz tomorrow, and it's based on rapid changes to the Earth's surface. This is in our book. And it begins on page C14. We talk about fault lines, how they move back and forth, and that would be a sliding boundary. And the San Andreas Fault is shown in this picture. If you went to California, you could actually walk alongside of this fault, and I would not walk too close, because I'm not sure how deep it is. It might go down for quite a while. I'm not positive about that, but that's why we have a lot of earthquakes in California because there's a fault line in California. Uh, also, we talked about Japan having these terrible earthquakes that actually streets fell down and bridges fell down on top of each other. We moved on and talked about volcanoes, more specifically Mount St. Helens, which really lost the whole top of its mountain when the volcano blew in 1980 when I was a sophomore in high school. And I remember hearing about it and not realizing it would be an event that people still talked about to this day. So it was a life-changing event for many people and lots of wildlife. And on the last page, we talk about mudslides, how a landslide can turn into a mudslide if uh, the conditions are right. So to prepare for our quiz, in school, we are doing this study guide B. You do not have this at home. Uh, but it talks about things like a sudden movement in the Earth's crust, and we all know that is an earthquake. An opening in the Earth's crust to which molten lava flows, we know that's a volcano. Molten rock beneath the Earth's surface, it is called magma. Once it's above the Earth's surface, we call it lava. And a sudden movement of loose rock and soil down a steep slope is landslide. Unless it's raining, then it's a mudslide. Okay? Earthquakes are commonly caused when sections of the Earth's crust come up together, move apart, or slide past one another. During an earthquake, the movement of rock near the Earth's surface can create landforms such as mountains. Pressure beneath the Earth's surface causes some magma to push its way through faults and flow into the Earth's surface as lava. Volcanoes can quickly change the Earth's surface and earthquakes and volcanoes e eruptions, earthquake and volcanic eruptions can trigger landslides and mudslides. So at home, guys, that's what you're missing on Study Guide B. But here's the good news. You have this on Google Classroom, as always, with lesson plans and study guides. This is more specifically what you'll see on the quiz. This is a good reference. Mm -hmm. This is very specific. Mm -hmm. Along with your book, pages C14 to C19. If you study that, you can't go wrong. Uh, also, in school, we are doing this PSSA practice test on paper. And then we're putting it into Google Classroom. So if you're at home, you do not have to do the paper version. The exact same version is on Google Classroom. And it's under the topic PSSA practice test. It is not graded. Um, it does not go as part of your report card. But we will take this quiz, or this test. We're going to go over it, talk about what you got right or wrong, such as what color rabbit survives the best in a snowstorm. Anybody know? Sebastian? A white rabbit. A white rabbit okay? It's going to mix right in with the snow. Predators will not find it, hopefully. I need an exam login to do this on the... Okay, I'll help you with that in a second. Yeah, you need an exam login, guys. In the, in the instructions for um, the PSSA practice test, it'll tell you right in the instructions how to log in. And I think it's your student ID and what else? There's a number like... Your name and... It's your lunch number for your password, but the login is what? It's a series of numbers. What is the login number? No, it's in the instructions. What is it? Administration ID? Yeah, administration ID. 2354. All right, is it 2345? 2354. 
that's written right in the instructions. So when it asks you to log in, use 2354, which is in the instructions, and then use your lunch number as your password. Not a graded test, but we're going to see how much we can get you ready for the actual PSSA test, because this is very similar to the PSSA test. As a matter of fact, some of the questions are from former PSSA tests. And then they just change them a little bit. So you probably won't see that rabbit question later this year on the PSSA test. Do I have time Sebastian, question. Do you have to watch the video? You have to watch the video. Which video are you talking about? Friday video. On Friday, after you take the quiz, watch the video. It's just, just an enrichment type thing. I'm not going to grade you on it. Yes? You already did? Okay, so in school, we're doing a paper version of the PSSA test. And then we put it into the computer under Google Classroom. At home, you get to skip a step. You don't have to do it on paper. Okay? We're just getting a little extra practice here. And like I said, for the PSSA, pra or PSSA test guys, sometimes you, you really can't study for it. Sometimes it's just common sense and science. And common sense would tell you that a white rabbit is going to survive in a snowstorm better than a brown rabbit or a snow background, I should say. All right, so three journal entries this week, PSSA practice test, your regular quiz on Friday, uh, watch the video for Friday, uh, and if you have extra time, most of Mac is on there for enrichment. Just scroll down through Google Classroom, watch the video, there's a couple activities that will complement what we're learning. All right, online learners, good luck with your quiz tomorrow. Don't worry about the PSSA practice test. Just do the best you can. We will take that again in a few weeks just to see how much you remember about the white rabbit and all those other fun questions. All right, everybody say goodbye to the online learners.